All right, you know this story. We've been telling you about it for days. This American war hero denied a simple refund from Spirit Airlines after his doctor told him that he is too sick to fly. The airline took his call, they heard his story, and they gave him a one-word answer, no. Jerry Mickens joins us live this morning with the news just breaking that veterans groups from across the country are rallying behind you. Jerry, it's great to have you here in person. It's great to be here. I thank you very much for listening to me. Well, we're happy to listen to you, and so are our viewers. Your story has really inspired an outcry from our viewers because, just to recap, you bought a ticket. You live in Florida. Your daughter lives in New Jersey. You bought an airline ticket to come and visit her. She was going to have some surgery. You were going to help her post up. Right. You were then diagnosed with terminal cancer. Yes. I, I've been fighting for two years with the cancer, but it was just diagnosed as terminal two weeks after I bought the ticket. We're so sorry about that. Oh, that's... It's accepted, you know. It's yes, and the one thing that, that you thought you could get a little bit of dispensation, you called Spirit Airlines and said, I just have this new diagnosis, I'm not allowed to fly, can I get a refund? They said no. no. Tell us an update on your end. Well, so far they're standing their ground, and uh, that's understandable, but the publicity that I'm receiving and the, the people who have personally telephoned me and emailed, etc., has reinstilled my faith in America. That's so... A lot of good people out there. There sure are. We should let people know you drove here to take care of your daughter after surgery and you did not fly. Uh, we reached out to Spirit Airlines to see if they could make an exception in your case. As we've said, you are a war veteran. So many people have rallied behind your cause. Here's what they said. Our reservations are non-refundable, which means we don't do refunds. And we are not going to issue Mr. Meekins a refund. We receive many requests for refunds every day for similar situations. It would not be fair to bend policy for one and not all. What do you make of that? Well, I, 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 what I would like him to do is just at least extend a courtesy to take each case on its own and make a decision. Not have a blanket policy that just says, uh, we don't care whether you're dying or not. You know, we're not giving you any money back. The part that really got me was when they said, well, if you die before the flight, we'll give you a partial refund. Hmm. Wow. And, and then, of course, they wanted to give me a, a credit to fly in the future. And I said to the guy, what don't you understand about the future? You know, I mean, there's, there's no answer for that one. I wouldn't be able to use the ticket anyhow. So. Are you surprised that they are really digging in their heels when so many people have rallied to your cause? I mean, I'm sure you've heard from lots of veterans groups about what they plan to do now. Oh, to yes, spirit. yes. What spirit, maybe they're not considering, is uh, the American Legion has three million members, plus the offsprings, the auxiliary, the sons of VFWs, another million and a half, uh, and vets, uh, veterans of foreign wars. They're all grouped. They're all veterans. And they're behind me, and, and they're looking at about six or seven million people who are going to boycott Spirit Airlines. Uh, a doctor, I believe he's a chaplain on the Chicago Police Department, called me and said, there's a Marine group of, of police officers in Chicago who are going to boycott Spirit Airlines, and they're going to try and get the rest of the Chicago Police Department to boycott wow. Spirit Airlines. Yeah, it's really... People from California have called, and they're, they're boycotting. Last night I had a call from a lady who's flown them for the last 10 years, twice a year, to Detroit and back, says she'll never fly them again. Wow. I mean, as we've said, it's really struck a chord with people around the country as well as our viewers. And in fact, this morning we have a little surprise for you because so many of our viewers felt so badly that you didn't get a refund that, uh, well, Steve hit the uh, HGM. <laughs> Jerry, there's the money. Uh, thank you. It, it's not about the money. I, I will donate this to Wounded Warriors. Wow. Um, you just want you want to see the policy. But I thank you. Well, we thank you. We understand what you're up against. Uh, and and t Ali was talking about the boycott. Are do you want people to boycott? Spirit? Yes, I do. You do. Yes, because I believe that uh, maybe at the next board meeting, when this quarter's financial uh, bottom line is read, maybe the board of directors will say to the guy that's currently the CEO. Mm -hmm. You're a little young, maybe you better change your thoughts. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's the only hope I have for people in the future who are like me, who've run into a problem unexpectedly. I didn't expect to be terminal. I wouldn't have purchased a ticket to begin with. Yeah, of course. So they should just 
case by case review it. And and uh, obviously we know that the two hundred dollars uh, isn't what you're after. But it, how do you feel about so many people donating to Wounded Warrior in your name? I think it's great. You know, it's a great organization. They need to help financially. And the more that can donate to Wounded Warriors and Heroes to Hometown, uh, it's just fabulous. Yeah. It's so appreciated. And Jerry, who would think that a group that you belonged to in the 60s, the military, would still be there at your side all these years later? They are. Yeah. Yep. Jerry, good luck to you. Good good luck. You know, your daughter is having surgery today. Right now, Our yeah. Thoughts and prayers are with you. Thank you very much. And Thank we'll you, keep in touch. Thank it's you such a pleasure you. to meet you all in person because I watch you every day. Even Allison? <laughs> Even Allison is amazing. Yeah. They, she's one of my favorites. She's uh, prettier than you are. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll take that. You are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks for fighting so a good fight, Jerry. Okay. Good okay. luck to you. Are we done? We're done. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Know, Jerry, hold, hold on. We're going to tell everyone what's coming up in the final half hour. Uh,